Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very exciting one. So I've just ordered the Pride palette from Chi Chi and I'm going to do a first impressions on it. Like a review to see like the colours. So I'm actually super excited to try out another palette. It has been a while. It has been a while since I've tried out like a new makeup palette. So I'm super excited. By the way, I've already done my base. I will link up above the video. It's a first impressions on the Airborne Liquid Foundation. So if you guys are interested in what I'm wearing on my face currently, the video will be linked up above slash the description bar down below as well. I got you back, hun. I got you back. So it says here it's celebrating 50 years of pride. Late June 1969, a large group of extremely brave individuals rallied together in New York City to stand up for their right to be accepted in society for who they really were. They stood together in solidarity, empowered millions of people worldwide and had a major impact on future generations. This pride rainbow palette is inspired by their courage, bravery and their relentless pursuit for equality and freedom. Celebrate and be proud of being an individual, accept diversity, demand equality and enjoy the freedom to love who you want, especially yourself. This Pride Palette contains 42 highly pigmented shades in various textures which are easily blended and may be worn sheer or dramatic and applied wet or dry. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So this was made for last month in June because it was Pride Month. I'm sure you are, most of you are aware, especially with all the rainbow looks going round. Some people were so creative. I was obsessed with all the different rainbow looks like... Um, on YouTube, I was watching so many. You can work, do it quite a wearable look with a lot of these like neutral warm tones, or you can be really out there and creative and use a lot of the colours, which I will be definitely using this in a fair few tutorials in the coming future. I can't wait. But for now, I think I might do like a more wearable look to kind of match these like mustard tones that I'm wearing. Guys, like I said, I think I've said it in one of my previous videos, mustard has just been my obsession lately. Like mustard tones, mustard colours, like a mustard like yellow smoky eye. I'm all over that, isn't it? So it says on their website that 10% of their proceeds will be going towards a number of charities and organisations supporting the LGBTQI plus communities. So without further ado, let's get straight into trying out these colours, shall we? <laughs> so I've already primed my lids with some concealer and just set it with some powder. Um, if you want the colours to really stand out, going in with a white base will make your eyeshadow just pop so much. But I thought testing out this palette, I want to see what it looks like just on like your normal skin tone rather than like an eyeshadow base. So initially I'm going to grab a fluffy brush. This is the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. So I'm going to dip into this gorgeous like soft blinding yellow shade and apply that through my crease as like a little transition shade so what I do notice straight away is there is a lot of kickback in the palette so when you dip your brush in there is a lot of like shadow kind of just sitting there like kickback basically it's blending really smoothly and building up quite nicely as well whereas you can get some shadows that just disappear on you you can't build them up this one you can which I really like and I'm just taking this, like I said, through the crease, all the way from outer to inner corner. Then I'm going to do like a soft, wearable, smoky eye today. Those peachy tones, I'm definitely going to be playing around with, if not in this video, like another tutorial. Because they're just so pretty. And there's some, like, this blue shimmer and this purple shimmer in the palette. Like, So I'm going to grab the next yellow from the palette. It's like a more mustardy yellow, so I'm going to grab that on the same fluffy brush and apply that through my outer corner and through the crease as well. So there was a little bit of kickback again but I find just like stamping the brush into the palette works better than just like swelling it in like there's less kickback. But I mean the pigment payoff is really good so I do not, I do not mind the kickback. So I'm thinking of even taking this like peachy pink shade and mixing it with this orange tone underneath it and kind of bringing a bit of the peachy look into it just because I've been looking at them and they just look so pretty. And I'm just going to take that on a petite crease brush, just taking that like light orange and peachy pink tone and just applying it to the outer portion of the eye. And just taking some of that peachy pink tone now, I just want to build up that more in the crease. So these two shades are a little bit softer, like 
I feel like the colour pigment, especially in that peachy pink, isn't as strong as the yellows, which is interesting because yellow is quite a difficult shadow to um, make quite pigmented because it is so light. So I think I might take one more shade as like a brow bone highlight. I might keep it like a matte brow bone highlight. So on a pencil brush from Zoeva, I'm going to take like skin tone peachy shade and apply that to my brow bone. It's just very subtle and I would love if they had like a light white or like shimmer shade in here. I mean I have heaps of palettes that do so it's not the biggest thing but if this was like your own, your only palette, the only thing is you wouldn't really have a lot of brow bone highlight options in here so you'd have to use like a face highlight or something. But that is quite a nice little highlight, very subtle, very soft. So I'm looking at a few of these shimmers. I'm definitely going to use probably about three, and I've got my eye on them. It's like this yellowy gold, um, this more bronzy tone, and the one above like the peachy goldy colour. I'm going to use those and like transition them onto the lid. So initially taking that like yellowy gold, I'm going to place that on the inner third of my eyelid. With shimmers, like it always does pay off so much better if you use your finger rather than a brush. I mean the brush still like you could see still gave a fair bit of pigment but I feel like my finger just it just does the job. And I'm actually going to apply it as well to that tear duct area on the inner corner. And I'm not applying like any eye like sorry um face like spray like any setting spray or anything. I'm just going straight in off the bat with that shimmer to get it to most authentic self. And there's like no fallout under my eyes either, which is so good, that's what you want. Oh, this is like such a little like beautiful daytime summer appropriate look. Like I guess you guys can tell like I'm still living for the summer vibes. So now that I've built it up on like the inner third of my eye, I'm going to take that bronzy shade that I showed you guys and apply that again with my finger on the very center of the lid. And I'm bringing a bit of that yellow gold back and just kind of going back and forth between the two just to get that like transition nice and soft. They're really creamy as well, these eyeshadows. They're not like um, dry, so they apply really nice. And I'm not applying like a sharp cut crease kind of line. I just want it to be very soft and smoky with this look. It's very daytime kind of vibey so I want to kind of keep that. So next I'm going to grab that peachy kind of goldy tone and apply that to the outer third of my eye into the peachy tones I've already applied in the outer corner. So that is with the eyeshadows applied. I will do like my bottom lash line after I apply like mascara and lashes. I might even do, should I even do like a wing? So I'm just going to do like a little outer corner wing today so I'm going to take this Maybelline Hyper Sharp liquid liner and just do like a little wing so today is not a good wing day I've got like two different wings but we're just gonna move past that it's gonna be one of double stars so for lashes today, I'm going to apply my Temptress Wispy ones from House of Lashes. Oh, these are so pretty. And I just love how wispy they are. Like, they won't cover up too much of the eyeshadow. Like, you can still see the shimmers and the yellows and the peachy tones through. Like, I don't want anything too dramatic today, especially for, like, everyday kind of daytime look that we're doing. So to continue with the bottom waterline, I'm going to take a nude eye coal from Models Prefer and apply that along the waterline area. And I think I might even bring some of that peachy tone on the bottom lash line. So on a pencil brush, I'm going to take these two kind of peachy pink shades and wiggle them really closely against the bottom waterline. Just focusing it on the outer kind of third of the eye out of two thirds and then just tapering it in. So I just want it to be the most pigmented on the outer portion of the eye. Mm, this color, these two peaches, like peachy tones, are so pigmented. Like they come up right off the bat. So strong and so, pe like 
intense, like their shadow is so true to the colour in the pan. And then I just want something like a smidge more intense right up against that bottom lash line. So I'm going to take this like orangey brown shade and apply that to the outer third of the eye. And I'm just using a precise shader brush from Zoeva. And there we go, you just got that more definition on the bottom lash line. So finally, I think for the inner bottom waterline area, I'm going to take this kind of like, what would you call this, like a neutral bronzy tone, the shimmer from the palette, and apply that along the bottom inner third. That's the only thing, like I just feel like brushes with these shimmers isn't as fantastic, like with these glittery shades. Like if you want something very soft, go in with the brush. But if you want a bit more intensity, you're going to have to take your finger. And then I'm just finishing off the look with some mascara from Maybelline. This is the Colossal Mascara. So this concludes today's um, review slash tutorial on the Chi Chi Pride palette. I hope you guys really enjoyed the look today, got a few tips and tricks from it. If you do want to see any like more intense looks with this palette, please let me know what you'd like to see. I will be doing so many more looks, but if you have anything in particular, like a green smoky eye, blue, purple, yellow, peachy tone, pinks, like there is everything you could ever hope for in this palette. Just let me know in the description bar down below and I can surely do one for you. Otherwise, have an amazing day, guys. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Mm.